Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail and we're continuing here in Bagnell's Castle and where we're heading now is to the temporary exhibition uh, section and this exhibition is actually um, showing uh, nursing and such but before we go in you can see a timeline of key developments in local medical history there so it starts 1765, Irish Parliament passes an act enabling the grand juries to establish county infirmaries. County infirmar infirmar sorry, infirmaries. County infirmaries established at Downpatrick and Armagh. And it takes you right up um, through the different decades and centuries, as you can see, and right up and you can see there, Daisy Hill Hospital becomes a Queen's University Belfast teaching hospital. But it takes you right up here to 2020. COVID-19 pandemic begins. <laughs> Thankfully it's over. Or at least it's certainly not near as bad now as it was. And here is a wee roll of honour. And what you actually have here is former consultant, consultants at Daisy Hill Hospital. Now I'm not going to read all those out to you. What I will do is I'll read the first one and I'll read the second or the last one and then you can pause the video if you want and you can check out the rest of them. So the first one is Mr. James Blundell, consultant surgeon 1963 to 1985 and that's the gentleman there. As you can see and then the last one, number 33, is Dr. Patrick Lachlan, consult, consultant and ethicist, 1983 to 2011, medical director, 1985 to 2011, and of course the image is courtesy of Daisy Hill Hospital. And so that's him there. So pretty amazing. And you can see all the different doctors and consultants there. So absolutely fantastic. So it starts here then from early medical care and it talks a wee bit, you can pause the video there and have a wee read of that. And there's Mourne District Hospital. I'll just read this one here. It says, nurses at Mourne District Hospital, 1950s, left to right, Sissy Young, Agatha Durham, Maitland Morgan, Nurse McCashin, and that's them there. So there you go. Some of the history of the medical care here in, uh, in Uri. And of course, Daisy Hill Hospital is still actually functioning today as a hospital. You can see some of the old, oh my goodness, look at the saw. Do you know what they used to call doctors in the old days? Saw bones. You can see why they call them saw bones. Because they used a, a crude saw to cut your bones. Fantastic, isn't it, when you think of it? My goodness, oh. It would give you nightmares. There's the wee aberration going on there. <laughs> Whoever it was invented anaesthetic by, <laughs> we're certainly grateful to them, aren't we? Because you're waking up and it's all over. That's for your blood pressure, think of this. Those instruments there. If you remember, the, when I was a child, I can remember the doctor coming out of the house, putting those things in his ears, and then putting them on your chest. I think it's to listen to your heartbeat or something like that. This is an interesting one here too, of uh, this lady. Because it says here, it's a watercolour, it's 1914, and uh, painted by Adolf Persch. It's Alan Constance, third Countess of Kilmory, is wearing nursing uniform. During the First World War, Lady Kilmory was Commandant of the South Down Nursing Corps, which had originated in the Ulster Volunteer Force Nursing and Medical Corps, which had been formed in 1913. Lady Kilmory 
was also president of the Newry District Nursing Society, which had been established in 1898. It relied on voluntary subscriptions and fundraising to provide health care for the poor. In 1906, the society was able to open a nurse's home in Hyde Terrace in Newry, and in 1910, its nurses made 11,479 visits to the sick poor. Incredible, isn't it? And so that's Alan Constance, third Countess of Kilmory. And that's the, that's the lady there. And there's again some old artifacts. As you can see. This might bring back some memories for, for some people. <laughs> I think they're clogs you call them. I can remember that blue bottle there. It was obviously a smaller bottle, but uh, it was a wee blue bottle my mum used to put rub on our chest when we were kids. It was called Fick, Fix Vapor Rub, <laughs> if you remember Fix Vapor Rub. And then that's the career of Joseph Burkroft, 1872 to 1947. And it just says, Joseph Burkroft pictured in 19. 1891, when he graduated with a BSc from the University of London, was still a pupil at, at the Leys School in Cambridge. And then Professor Burcroft lecturing at Cambridge in 1935. Sir Joseph Burcroft's workroom at the Cambridge Sociological, I think that is, laboratory in the 1940s. And if you want to read a wee bit, of the history of them, you can pause the video and have a wee read of that. It's local chemists, just read a wee caption here. What we know now as chemists also had a close connection with the medical profession, originally known as, oh boy, apothecaries. They were regulated by the Apothecaries Hall in Dublin and provided medicines to those who could afford them. And of course, the name chemist uh, actually comes from uh, the Greek word in the scriptures, which is uh, sorcery, or which is actually pharmakia. And so that's where we get the name pharmacy from, for chemist today, is actually uh, used in the scripture for sorcery. Um, back then it was, you know, mixing potions and stuff like that. But uh, that's where we get the word. Uh, it's pharmakia, pharmacy, and in the scripture it's sorcery but it's a greek word so there you go a wee bit of information for you maybe that you didn't know there's other artifacts there and of course my niece holly she's studying nursing at the minute and also my friend rose her daughter sophie is also studying uh to be a nurse as well and i can tell you it's a hard job that they have there's no doubt about it and there's doctors and nurses and it says the role of medics has developed over the years from early physicians, surgeons, and apothecaries, I don't even know what that means, to the wide range of medical professions that make up the current National Health Service. And so you can pause that and have a wee read if you want. So there you go, this is a, this is a, a room set apart for the uh, history of nursing in Newry, development of local hospitals, you can see there. So uh, quite amazing. And then that one is a lunchtime public rally to protest against the downgrading of Daisy Hill Hospital and cuts in health and social services throughout Newry and Morn. And that was Thursday, the 21st of November, 1996 at 1 p.m. So there you go. So thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. Again, if you enjoy the channel, then please like and subscribe. And if you hit the notification uh, bell, then every time I upload a, a video, you will be notified. And also feel free to share my uh, videos so that other people can enjoy the history. God bless.